All right, everyone, welcome back. Session three for Python programming with IT eLearn. Let's take a look at what we will continue. So in the previous one, we looked at uh, variables and the data types, right? And we also saw that we faced some issues when we were trying to join a string and a integer or a float, correct? So now we'll look at some simple conversions of how you convert from one data type to the other. Why do we need to? Why and how can we do it? And then we will go into uh, some maths uh, with some operators and so on. So to do this, what we're going to do is go back to our same very uh, exercise that we did. And what is it that we want to do? Before you find a solution team, you have to very clearly write down what you want in pure English. And I'll tell you why it is important. Okay, You want to convert what is Bob Zip string. No, sorry, it's an integer. Integer to a string. Why do you need to do that? So that you can join them. Python is not letting you join them together otherwise. So if you need to convert an integer to a string, what do you do? There are solutions for each of them. And sometimes even I will not remember all the solutions. And I don't want to keep a memory of remembering everything. You will automatically get to practice so many times that you'll eventually remember things. But what if you're not remembering? What do you do? That is when I want each of you to be able to focus on finding a search, a solution to it online. It is extremely important for us as developers to know where to look at when we have a question, when we are stuck. Because as you start coding, as you start executing what I am showing or on your own, you will see there are many challenges and problems coming and you need to find solutions. And to find the right solution, you have to be a good at search. So what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever we wrote here and put it into Google and search for it. But do you want to convert integer to string in where? In a Java or in .NET or which language? You want to do it in Python, right? Convert integer to a string in Python. That is your exact search term. Now let's copy all of this, take it into Google, put it in there and search for it. You would get many solutions to it in many websites and you can always refer to some standard ones that you like or just go about browsing. Python.org is your good home to refer to as much as you can. You also saw Stack Overflow, great forum for all your questions. Let's visit python.org and here you will see there's so many functions here. All right. There are all the different types of functions that are built in and you can use them. All right. So remember raw underscore input that we did. That is one type of a function. Now, this is a good library for you to refer as you go along. Don't be alarmed or uh, uh, overexcited just seeing how many are there here. Now, this is giving me everything. This is not giving me one perfect solution to it. So I'll go back. Remember, that's a great place for you to refer to. Always go to python.org and find the documentation. You'll find some good solutions. I want a specific solution. I'm looking at converting integer to string in Python. I'm going to stack overflow now. Here, someone wants to do something similar and you may find a solution to it. Do you see this? String 10, int 10. Primarily, the simple solutions are using int or string. What does that mean? If I need to convert Bob zip from a integer into a string, what I need to do is I need to say Bob zip equals int no to string, correct? String of nine one three six seven what the string function does is it will convert whatever information you put here into string basically put it into quotes and give it to you and now let us see if this code will work similarly i need to do it for the other code what are we doing now we are converting a float into a string so to convert a float into a string go back and do the same search convert float to a string in Python and 
we will have something very similar it is the same function that you will use again it is the str function itself str function will convert anything into string so we need to do the same for bob weight equals string of 165.4 okay now let us run and see if this takes care of our problem I'm deleting what we have in the console. So we have a plain one. And now let us do an execution. So Bob phone number, Bob zip code, Bob email, Bob wait is perfect. We've got all the information correct. Now, what, what else can we do? One of the things that is important team is it is just not to fix a problem, but make sure you did the correct thing. Here we have converted a integer to string all right and here we've converted a float to a string what is a float any number which has decimals primarily float unless it's a large one now you will notice that there is one small problem team if i change the zip code and let's say i'll say 91001 and now if i run it what will happen? It is still showing 91367. Why is it so? Bob zip is 91001. Why is it showing 91367? Because we are changing Bob's value here. And hence, it is this way you are writing an incorrect code. You need to call Bob zip itself here. So basically, the way we are doing it is Take the old value of Bob zip, convert it into string, and put it again into Bob zip. Same variable. Variable varying, you can change it anytime. And the same with Bob weight. Okay. And you can save it and do a run, and let's see now. There you go. So it will take the latest ones whenever you call the variable. So always remember, team, once you define a variable, call the variable, not the value. The value will automatically come to you. Call it by its name. Let the value come automatically. All right, great. Now let's look at some simple math functions. I'm going to open a new file, very simple ones. I'm going to say py prog 4 maths dot py all right so that's just a naming convention a style that i'm following you could do whatever you want at your end so what do i mean by mathematics let us say there is a variable named x and i'll say x equals 10 so what is the data type of x team quickly integer y because it has it's a number no decimals y is 20. now i want to say a new variable z equals the sum of x and y that means x plus y. Oops, x plus y. Now what I can do is I can say print the sum of what is there in x plus x plus and plus y plus is plus z now do you see what i've done here team i have primarily i've primarily put a big long string and it can you can easily get a little confused about it so let's not get confused let's be very clear about it this is a string i am concatenating it or appending or joining it with a variable value using a plus sign and then I've used space and so that it will reflect even in the print again y. So then the result should be something like the sum of 10 and 20 is whatever is there in z. So as soon as you see x, y, and z and you put it all together like this, let's see how it will execute. Save and run. Trace back the sum of <coughs> cannot concatenate string and int objects. Y string, oh, there you go. The same thing again. Remember, you cannot concatenate string and int objects. But I don't want to change the data type of X itself. Okay. So what I will do is 
I will put this as string of x string of y and string of z now there is a small difference that you need to really note team and this will be very important for you to uh, keep an eye on okay fundamentals this is where once you cross these small hurdles you will become a good programmer the decision how you learn these fundamentals and practice on them will decide on your career path for being a developer team remember that all so there is x it's a variable what is the value in it 10 what is the type of x as a variable it is an integer now i want the value to become a string because i need for only for concatenation if i say x equals string I'm just saying s right now but can read it as string this s of x what happens team it will take x the value it will convert it into string and put it into x so no longer x will be an integer it will become a string and there'll be quotes for this so the place where x is stored in the memory that location we're going and changing it as soon as I say x equals something, whatever be it, it is x or whatever be it, you are changing that value in the location itself for the variable. However, if I just say s of x wherever I want, string of x wherever I want, I am taking the value and using it there, but I am not going and changing it in the original place where the variable is stored team important concept rewind this video few seconds and look at it again so instead of saying instead of saying x equals string of x why am i not saying this we do not wish to change the data type of x or y or z we are saying that we will keep it as is only we will do it where we need it all right so if i save this and i run this now let's see the sum of 10 and 20 is 30. now if i change this oops if i change this value 100 and 200 it will automatically do it so the same program i can change certain things and it will execute uh, and it will do it accordingly now we have done the sum and i'll say z equals x plus y now the same thing i'll copy and i'll say z equals x minus y okay the difference now all i'm changing here is difference of x and y is whatever will it give me 300 or will it give me minus 100 100 here minus 200 100 minus 200 is how much team minus 100 you have a negative correct because you're taking a larger number from a smaller number and hence you will get a negative result and this is the difference of it, and you're putting it here so see same values of x and y what is varying here z is the one which is varying similarly i can also say things like uh, x star y that is multiplication the the multiply the multiplication of whatever values we give is what we will see so i'll use 10 and 20 for now and finally another simple one team z equals rather let's copy z equals x by y the division of so and so so all of this we have not changed the type of the original why we have kept the original as is we didn't say x equals string of x we just used it string of x wherever we wanted it now let's do a run and see sum of 10 and 20 is 30 the difference of 10 and 20 is minus 10 the multiplication of 10 and 20 is 200 division of 10 and 20 is 0 what is this why is it 0 why is the division of 10 and 20 is 0 is it correct 
No, it is not. In fact, I don't even know the solution for it right away. However, this is where you have to think through and find what is it. Am I reading it correctly? Yes, the 10 and 20. Is this correct result? You divide 10 by 20, what will you get? 0 0.5. Why is it saying 0? It is probably thinking that this is x by y as integers. The result also is an integer. What if I make this as a float? Float of x by y. So like string, we're converting it into float. Convert a string or number to a floating point number if possible. Do you see this? D, as soon as I take my mouse over, your inbuilt help is kicking in and it's showing you what it could do. Let's try. Just an experiment. I'm not sure, team. Now I get it as 0, 0.0. So what does that mean? As soon as I divide an integer with an integer, Think about it clearly because this is where you can get confused. I want you to have clarity. It is dividing an integer by integer and it's giving me a integer. So 0 0.5 is automatically taking it as 0. So I need to individually say float of x divided by float of y. And that is how we put things together into it. Okay, Float of x divided by float of y. Now let's try it out. Now do you see? It comes in as 0 0.5. All right. So that is how you find solutions for simple problems that come up. But keep it simple. Take it one line by one line and then you gradually increase the complexity. That is how you master team. All right team. So that's about uh, some more tutorials on Python. Let's go into the next one and uh, we will learn a few more things. The next tutorial I'm going to talk about debugging. How do you debug a code? What is debugging? Why is it important to Go line by line, execute one step at a time uh, and see how you can run your code accordingly to find any defects and take it out. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for listening in. Take care. Bye now.